Next up, a Manitoba farmer looking for seed money to grow a new kind of grain. It's already selling as baby pig feed, but now he needs big bucks to market an unknown grain to people, and he's brought a chef to help. Well, greetings, dragons. Hello, dragons. My name's Scott Zivaldison. I'm a farmer from Manitoba. Our farm is over 106 years old. I've got a genetic defect in me that makes me want to farm. <laughs> I'm also president of Wedge Farms Nutrition, and what we're here pitching you today is a brand new food grain that we've branded and trademarked as Cavina Nuda. It's a Latin-esque term for Canadian naked oat. What we're offering you is 20% of that company for $250,000. You have a substitute for rice? Rice of the prairies is what we've coined the phrase to get it across. It looks, it cooks, and it tastes like a rice. You got samples here? We've got samples. Last year, Scott sold a million and a half dollars worth of the oat as animal feed. Now, he's putting everything on the line to market Cavina Nuda as people food. So it's a real business. We've got over $800,000 invested in cash. Oh. I've shut down my farm. You're killing me. I've sold some off. You sold I've, your farm? I sold some off, rented the rest out because I had to concentrate on this. My father's shaking his head in his grave and, and wondering what the heck has he done? Scott, doesn't that tell you something? You're selling the family cutlery to pursue Cavina Nuda. But I don't think people are screaming, gimme Nuda, gimme Nuda. They don't know about it yet. But don't you have to create demand? You show up to the food services guy and you say, knock, knock, I'm Cavina Nuda. They say, what the hell is that? And then they buy it, every one. You want to take this product and go after retail? No. Nope. Retail is extremely expensive to get into. We sell it Not... to the food service industry. So, Scott, you're chef. suggesting we sell this to restaurants. Hey, guys, hey, Scott, hey, just hold yes. it. Melissa, I want to ask you a couple yes, of questions. Yes, absolutely. How long have you cooked with this stuff? Uh, I've been working with this product for three months. The really neat thing about this product is the stability of it. You can cook it for three hours and it's not going to break down. So it works really well in the food industry as well as for everyday home use. But selling a rice substitute one chef at a time is daunting and expensive. Another problem, Kavina Nuda costs more than rice. So Scott, why would the restaurant buy it if it's more? Is it just because it's healthier it's than healthier. rice? This has got very high beta-glucan fiber. That's what lowers your cholesterol level. That's what everybody in the restaurant business is getting hammered with right now. It's got to be low sodium. Fiber is a great thing, and the source of iron is huge. And now, you, instead of growing rice on a flooded plain in Bangladesh where it gets hit by a monsoon, now you're growing it in any temperate zone in the world. I think we go through about two to three tons of rice. The price of rice worldwide has gone through the roof now because Absolutely. there's a shortage around the world. But where Jim sees savings, the other dragons see a major marketing hurdle. Scott, I, I quite like everything you bring to the table in every area of your business except one. Um, to leverage going to visa, visit individual chefs, to leverage what you're doing. I just, I don't think you've got a strategy yet that I would invest in yet. But I'm out at this stage. Scott, I see this as a huge, insurmountable almost task that would require a lot of money and uh, just not something I want to be growing with. I'm out. That pig business made money. Yep. Then you sucked it dry with a vision for marketing Kavina Nuda to people. People and pigs are different. To me, it's a giant marketing problem with the solutions unknown. We've got to convince farmers to grow it. We've got to convince consumers that they want to eat Kavina Nuda. We've got to convince chefs and the food industry that they want to pay a little bit more. And the amount of dollars required to actually get people to say, honey, get me some Nuda tonight, that could be a large amount of money. I'm out. You know, it's an interesting idea. I like it. Don't see how I'm gonna make money at it, so I'm out. Four dragons sent Kavina Nuda back to the kitchen, but Jim's still not finished with the dish. 
You show me the raw product. Do you ship anything that's cooked? We get a lot of questions about it. You can cook it and freeze it and reheat it in three weeks. It doesn't lose its consistency and its taste. Scott, are you interested in doing a higher percentage? Pardon me? I give you 50% for 250. Too much. I've got to have some kind of feel for it, and I, I like the product, but I can't live with 20%. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. 30%. And I'm a little disturbed, frankly, that you didn't listen to the guy who's got all the restaurants and all the ability to get your product out there into the marketplace and be willing to get up a little more equity in order to have that opportunity, because otherwise... The only thing I'm worried about is it's the equity stake that we give up. Not control, I'm not so much worried about that. It's uh, like with the 800,000 plus that we've invested cash-wise, I've invested everything into it. But there's an opportunity in front of you as somebody who can really genuinely help you because of the industry they're in and the ability to get you scale very quickly, mm -hmm. that's worth something. And I'm not sure that you're understanding the value of that. Yes, I don't, I certainly see. But you got a guy here with 40 years experience. Yeah, that's it. why I'm here in front of you guys. Why don't you go back and think about it? Sure, sure. Absolutely. Talk about it. Arlene has just turned the tide. Scott came offering only 20% for a quarter million dollars. Now he has to convince his business partner to give Jim 50% of the company. Jim offered 250, 250,000 for 50%. Mm -hmm. 50's his final? No, there's not a final, but he seems pretty adamant on it. Mm -hmm. No marketing costs in that would be considerably cut by just implementing it in his restaurants. Yeah, 40 years experience in the food business is it's no, it's probably expensive probably, to replicate. And he likes it. He said we never would go to 50. All right, uh, we've talked about it. Is that your final offer? Yeah. If there was a way to include enough Cavina Nuda into the pie crust at Boston Pizza to put a heart smart symbol in the US on pizza, I mean, the possibilities in there are huge. Stop selling, Stop Scott. selling. You asked for 20%, he offered 50. Sold. You done? Yep. Good Absolutely. for you. Thanks. Smart move. We'll get together with our guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. That's good. Oh, we'll see That's what good. happens. Yeah. Jim was the guy that we felt was going to be the guy that we needed and wanted and would be interested in. Jim was the guy.